Welcome, Brainers! If you've ever found yourself stuck at the grub prompt, you've come to the right place. Whether you're using Linux or Windows, or have a multi boot setup, we're here to guide you through the process of recovering all your operating systems. We'll demonstrate the first two solutions in the grub prompt, but they work well for the grub rescue prompt as well. Moreover, the third solution is a universal boot repair that could resolve not only grub issues but also any boot related problems on any Windows, Linux, or multi boot setups. All right, let's jump right in. Solution 1 Use exit command. Just type exit at this prompt and hit enter. This'll exit grub and pick up the next available boot manager. This is particularly useful if Windows is one of the operating systems in your dual boot setup. If your main goal is to restore Windows and not any other operating systems, you can indeed change your boot order in your BIOS setup. This will eliminate the need to type exit every time you start your computer. To enter the BIOS, you can use the BIOS keys if you know them. Alternatively, you can restart your PC a little differently than usual. Simply restart your PC, but hold down the Shift key while selecting Restart. You'll then land on the Windows recovery screen. From here, choose Troubleshoot and then UEFI Firmware Settings and Restart. This should take you to your BIOS settings. The appearance of this screen may vary depending on your PC. Navigate through the options to find the setting to change your boot order. Basically, you should move the Windows Boot Manager to the top. Please save and exit. From now on, you won't see your corrupted grub bootloader, and Windows will load directly every time you boot. However, if you want to recover your other operating systems as well, Please keep the boot order as it was before and explore the subsequent solutions. Solution 2 Manually locate and load your Linux operating system. While you're on the grub prompt or the grub rescue prompt, please type ls and then press enter. This command will display all disks and partitions on your PC. In my case, I have only one disk, represented as HD0 and five partitions are represented as GPT-1 to 5. Let's check the contents of each partition. We're going to use the same ls command, but this time we'll include the partition name followed by a forward slash. We should do the same for all the available partitions. At this point, we can confirm that GPT-3 is my Windows operating system partition, GPT-5 is my Windows recovery partition, and apparently, GPT-4 is my Linux operating system partition which is our main focus. Navigate to the boot folder in your Linux partition and list its contents. Please execute these commands one by one as I demonstrate. All these commands are provided in the video description for your reference. You don't need to type the complete file name, just type until it's unique, then use the tab key to automatically complete the rest of the file name. In this command, I've used SDA4, but it could be different in your case. For example, if your Linux is on HD0, then use A, if it's on HD1, then use B, and so on. The number that follows this alphabet represents your Linux partition number. After executing all these commands successfully, please type boot and hit enter. This should load your Linux operating system. So far, we've manually located and loaded the Linux on your PC, but our boot records are still not repaired. Repairing your boot records from here is very simple, just open the terminal and type sudo update grub. This command rebuilds your boot records, ensuring that your grub bootloader works properly when you restart your PC. Solution 3. Boot from an Ubuntu Live USB, then rebuild boot records using boot repair application. If you don't have an Ubuntu Live CD or USB, please follow the link in the video description to create one. Please use your BIOS setup key and boot from the Ubuntu USB. After booting from the Ubuntu Live USB, you should land on this screen, where you should select Try or Install Ubuntu. 
Over here, choose Try Ubuntu. Once you're on the Ubuntu Live environment, open the terminal and execute the commands provided in the video description to install Boot Repair application. It's worth noting that you have a web browser inside this live environment, and you can open this video description to copy and paste these commands. Once boot repair is installed, please go ahead and launch it using the command sudo boot repair. It'll scan all your disks and partitions for every possible operating system and boot related files. For most of us, the recommended repair option is the best fit. However, if you're familiar with advanced settings, you can modify them and select apply. Particularly, if you are here to repair Windows boot files, then please select this checkbox and apply right here. But for my case, I'll proceed with the recommended repair option. Once the repair process is complete, you should see a message that says boot successfully repaired. Let's close all open windows and restart the PC. As evident in my case, this should resolve all your boot issues, furthermore, if you're on a multi-boot system, you should get your Grub OS selection menu as expected. I hope this works for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button to see our videos at the top of your search results. Thanks for watching.